Welcome to Danglish Docs. Like the old saying goes, mistakes come easy, but apologies are hard to come by. Apologies can repair just about anything if you know just what to say and how to say it. Let's talk about the best ways to apologize in English. When we need to apologize to friends and family, we say, I'm sorry. The word sorry means feeling regret, guilt, sympathy, or pity. While saying I'm sorry to others is a thoughtful gesture, sometimes it just isn't enough. Let's say you accidentally crashed your brother's new car or you accidentally stepped on your best friend's new phone. Sorry might not cut it. So you might need to find a stronger way to convey your feelings of regret. Statements like, I'm so sorry. I'm terribly sorry. I wanted to tell you I'm sorry. That was wrong of me. Sorry about that. And it was all my fault. Show a deep sense of remorse and accountability. Nowadays, younger Americans also say, my bad, when apologizing to friends and family because it says, I admit it. I was wrong. It's done. Let's move on and not make a big deal about it in two words. If you're in a public and you accidentally bump into someone on the street while you're walking, proper etiquette dictates that you simply nod and give a quick sorry to be polite. There's no need to belabor the incident, which means to discuss the subject in excessive detail. But if you bump into someone and cause them to spill hot coffee all over their shirt, this is an entirely different situation and adding in words like so, extremely, or sincerely may help ease the tension. Think about it. Which makes you feel better? I'm sorry or I'm sincerely sorry. Sometimes it's the little words that can make a big difference. While you can also use the expression, I beg your pardon, to say sorry, you may not want to because in America, it's also a sarcastic remark that we use when we perceive that someone is doing something wrong to us. For example, you could say, I beg your pardon, is this seat taken? To be polite. Or if someone takes your seat, you could say, I beg your pardon, in a quarrelsome way. A better way to use the word pardon would be to say, pardon me. We often say pardon me or pardon my lateness when we would like to be excused for being late for work, formal events, appointments, and church. Unfortunately, there are times when you can't think of the right words to say sorry. When this occurs, we say, words can't express how I feel. People often use this phrase when a mere apology just won't do. When apologizing in a business setting, you have to be a little more tactful and diplomatic. If you make a minor mistake at work, you could say, my apologies. I'm sorry for my actions. That was rude of me. Or, please forgive me. All of these expressions show that you would like to be forgiven or excused for some fault, insult, failure, or injury that you caused. For larger mistakes or errors, you could say, please forgive me and trust or know that this will never happen again. Or, I was badly misinformed and I deeply regret the error. You might also want to add, it will never happen again. Here too, just to restore the confidence. Some other ways to formally say I'm sorry are to directly say, I must apologize for what I've done. I sincerely regret what has happened and I must apologize for my actions. Apologies are the super glue of life and it's essential to know how to express them correctly and appropriately. Hope you've learned something new today. Thanks for tuning in to Danglish Docs. Oh, yeah,